so messy in here this morning. How does such a tiny, oh, I know how a tiny space gets messy. <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere, guys. Feels that way. We're near Derby, crocodiles everywhere. Even crocodiles. As soon as we came into this campsite, which I must say is stunning, there was a crocodile on the other side of the river <laughs> straight away. So we're in croc country now, and we are making our way to Wolf Creek. Something that's been on our list for years. So exciting. And we're finally there. We're almost there. We're about what, 700 kilometers away? Yeah, it feels like we have driven a lot over the last couple of days. We've driven oh, mate. from Mekathara all the way through Newman, Newman Marble, Bar. Marble Bar. And then we stocked up in Broome yesterday, and now we're here. And now we're in the middle of nowhere again. <laughs> what do you want for breakfast, Megan? We still have leftover pancake butter. What about porridge? But then the pancake batter will go to waste. It's already two days old. Oh, I don't really care what we eat as long as I have one of these bad boys. We did sneak these in the trolley. Yeah, I did. They were on special. Little sneaky <laughs> Megan. I actually don't understand why we did not have a frother on our first lap. Look at that. Look at that coffee. We didn't even have the power to charge our laptops our first lap. Yeah. Why would we have a frother? We couldn't even charge our laptops and we wanted a frother. <laughs> Megan's pancakes worked out very well. Don't be lazy like me. I couldn't be bothered getting out of the car and setting the barbecue off and getting a big pan. So this is what you get when you are lazy. lazy. Yeah. It's still going to taste good though. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're going to have some brekkie and enjoy some nice frothed up hizzy coffee. We're so excited to go to Wolf Creek. <laughs> you think you're more excited about coffee? <laughs> um, I'm excited about coffee as well. Starting. I'm holding the key. Yes. That was quicker than usual. Battery's on its way out. Really? Yeah. We're all packed up. We're going to show you a bit more of the area. See you later. But some people rocked up. It yeah. was one of my goals this year to not let. That didn't sound good. To not let um, people being around stop me from vlogging and stop being so shy but I'm not quite there yet so that's why we've sort of left you alone this morning but we're on our way we're not going to go all the way to Wolf Creek today because it is nine and a half hours away but yes. we're going to get halfway I think countries on maps and stuff and we're like driving through 10 countries yeah, it's in crazy. one day it's pretty crazy Yeah. 
Hey guys, Jack from the future here. Yes, my moustache is gone, Megan succeeded, and I shaved it off. But <laughs> that's not why I'm here to interrupt the vlog. It is to say a huge thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video and supporting us on this Northwest road trip series. But we just are so grateful to have them on board because we really hope that it can motivate some of you guys to take your mental health a lot more seriously. So BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you get access to over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help with a wide range of issues. You just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist, whether it be from video call, phone call, or text, whatever you feel most comfortable doing. And then you can message them at any time and set up a live session whenever it is convenient for you. And if you feel your therapist isn't the right fit for you, you can change therapist at any time at no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you would expect in an in-office therapy. Seeking help is not a weakness, guys. I feel like as men, we think it is a weakness, but it is not. It can be a very hard thing to talk about, but speaking to a professional will help you so much. So many people keep things inside them for so, so long, and it just shouldn't be like that. I had so many personal struggles. I still have them. Uh, it's gonna take a very long time to fix all my personal struggles, but I'm getting there and it's because I'm talking to someone and I talk about it. So please, if you're struggling with it, talk to someone. So if you're interested, go check out BetterHelp. They've given us an extra 10% off for the first month. That's betterhelp.com forward slash Jack and Megan. Better H-E-L-P. Go check them out, guys. They seriously can help you. So let's get back to the vlog and check out this crater. Vicky? Now you're not complaining about me <laughs> buying the biscuits. That'll give me a real sugar rush. I've been feeling tired lately quite a bit from this long driving. Yeah. I, it might be because I'm getting a bit older, to be honest. Maybe. But yeah, I've been feeling tired. It's very weird. It never happens. So, I don't know what's going on there. You need more, you need to make your own energy throughout the day. We've not been doing any exercise. I think yes, that's it. We haven't been doing much exercise and it's been very noticeable. But anyway, coffee's gonna help us now. <laughs> So we've made it to Fitzroy Crossing, guys. Look at that, Megan. Where the bridge was absolutely destroyed and they've made this new one here. It is a whole situation going on. They've got two gigantic cranes. There's earthworks going on everywhere. Look at that. Look at the old bridge, Megan. That's insane. We're so thankful that they were able to get on top of opening that road up because when we were planning this trip a couple of months ago, that road was completely closed and there would have been no way for us to get through because we weren't going to go over the Gibb River and then back again. Which so, was totally fine if it was closed, yeah. but we're so thankful. Yeah, so we decided to go a little bit further to camp just to split our drives like directly down the middle over the next couple of days. So we are two hours from camp now. Two hours, baby. Are you feeling a bit more awake after your coffee? Yeah. I ended up drinking Megan's coffee as well. Beware. Loose surface, dust and corrugations. Not a corrugation in sight. The whole road has been graded. Now it says it's gonna take us three hours and 53 minutes to get to the crater, but I don't think it's gonna. It's gonna take us like an hour if it's corrugated. Yeah, you just said the whole road. We just got on the road, so we're not <laughs> actually sure. <laughs> hey, I'm being enthusiastic. Anyway, we're on the track guys, let's go.
So we've pulled over again because the track is starting to turn into this real shale rock. Now we let the tires down a little bit at the start, but I'm gonna let them down a bit more because this is what's starting to pop up. Sharp rocks like that. And if that hits your tire on the wrong angle, so you can see the, the tire tracks here and here, these rocks are just chilling in the middle of it. Sometimes you don't see it. And when a car's coming the opposite way, there's so much dust. And if you miss that one rock, you're gone. It happened to us on the Gibb River Road and uh, we got a flat tire instantly. We're getting a bit hangry as well. So Megan's grabbing some apples and I'm gonna let the tires down a little bit more. That's creepy. That literally looks like the movie. Have you ever watched no. it? I'm sure a lot of Oh, no, 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 no. What does it say? Is it too late to turn around? <laughs> Have you ever Why watched it? Why are you going this way? Can we not? Oh. I, it even <laughs> says Mick. No. Oh, it's creepy, eh? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, we'll there. have a look around. No, I don't want to. I'm not looking in any sheds around here. Oh <laughs> uh, guys, if you haven't watched it, go watch Wolf Creek. No, I'm, I'm not sure. suggesting you go watch it. I'm sure a lot of you have watched it and will know exactly what I'm talking about. Ooh. In the last five minutes of the drive, it's gotten real rough. And we've got a bit of action up ahead. It looks like, it looks like, oh my God. That's his road. It looks like someone's broken down in a car that definitely shouldn't be here. I'm gonna lock the hubs because that looks buggy. Those people are bogged. They're super bogged. This is boggy sand, eh? Yeah, looks like it. It's just like dust. Yep. All right, let's see if they're all right and not get bogged. Yeah. In the oh, be careful. How you going? Do you guys want a hand? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be alright. He's got the bomb here, so I'm gonna try and snatch him out. I'll just wait here and see how you go. And yeah. if he gets out, I'll, I'll take off. Here they go. And they're out. made it we're at the campground we're just set up for a little bit we're gonna have some veggie sausage wraps and then we're gonna go have a look at the crater for sunset never been so excited to see a big hole in the ground before yeah we've waited so long for this moment and it is literally it's just there okay guys it is finally time for us to go see the crater I'm so excited. It's just over the hill there, so we just read up on it, even though we've read up on it before we came, <laughs> but we read up on it again. This crater is about 300,000 years old. It was a meteorite that fell from space, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> weighing about 50,000 tons, and it was traveling at about 15 kilometers a second, which we worked out to be, we did the math, 54,000 kilometers an hour. And it doesn't feel too spooky. No, it's not it feels spooky. It's very nice, even though we've got a full moon. Look happening. at the full moon. It's amazing. I actually can't believe I'm here right now. We made it. My old man has been wanting us to come here for so long. It might be part of the reason why I'm so excited to come here. But guys, 
It's like something out of Jurassic Park. I forgot to tell you that it's the second biggest crater in the world. Yeah, the amount of bird life and stuff down there. I was not expecting that. I was expecting it to be really just barren. Yeah. And it's like a little oasis mm. in the middle of the desert. It's so beautiful. Far out. That's amazing. drones flying and everyone I think is gone as well. Yep. The sunset. It's just I, the sound of nature. Midges flying all over you. You wouldn't want to bloody hear the sound of that meteorite hitting. <laughs> Holy crap. Or the sound of the UFO that Jack reckons he's just seen in the sky. I've just seen something <laughs> in the sky and I've never seen anything on all of our travels. I've just seen the weirdest thing in the sky. What a place for that to happen as well. Anyway. We want to sit down and tell you guys that this has been the best trip we have done out yeah. of all the laps of Australia we've done. Yeah, we've well, done. really, when you think about it, we've done. We did our first northwest trip was our first little taster of life on the road, and then we did two laps, and now another northwest trip to finish it off. But it's been I, so sentimental. I think this one's been so special because we're so comfortable with what we do now. Yeah, uh, the travelling and all that. Finally, <laughs> it only took two and a half years, but we did it, and we feel very comfortable on the road together, and. Still anxious people. Yeah, but we're getting better. Mm. And it's really sad because this is the last trip in the Troopy yeah. as well. And it's like been the best one as well. So it's just, It makes you want to keep going. It bit. makes us <laughs> want to keep going. But more on that in other videos yeah. to come. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Just about the style of video, I guess. It's a bit raw. We hope you enjoyed it. Us just having a chat, just saying what's on our mind. Because we do sort of, I don't know, we battle with ourselves a lot while we're filming and... Even this video, I knew that I wanted to sort of share in this way, like just share everything. Mm -hmm. And I still go to pick up the camera and that voice in my head goes, nobody gives a shit, Megan. So I hope that you enjoyed it. And um, like we said, we want to really try and share more of us. Yeah. And more of, like, obviously we hope we shared this amazing landscape with you and showed you how incredible it is. I really it is. do hope it comes up amazing on the screen for you because that was... That is special. So you hopefully can't. we came a little bit close. Oh, what were they? Dragonflies. Nice. UFOs. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave you there, guys. Yeah, we'll wrap it up there. We made it to Wolf Creek. Finally, probably one of the biggest things on our bucket list uh -huh. in Australia. We've finally done it. And we survived Mick. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if we can start the car when we go to leave tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, classic. Might be playing games with us. <laughs> Not starting. <laughs> oh my God. It's literally like the movie. <laughs> oh, it's really not starting. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see you see next, you week, next guys. week, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it. Is today the day? Yes. It's finally going? Yes. Really? The mo's going today, guys. <laughs> Come on, get in! <laughs> I'm going to leave you out here all by yourself. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Well, I shouldn't make a joke, should I? No. I, I was going to get a shot of some flowers, so I'm not getting in the car. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave you here. I'll see you at the crater. We had triple six. We've been seeing all weird numbers. Triple yeah. six, remember? But anyway. Yeah, it was 666 kilometres from when we left our first camp. Yes, so. Here, so. A few weird things going on there. <laughs> that is the end of the video. V-I-D-E-O. Yeah.
One three hundred triple o o six. That's wrong. One three. It's one three. Wait. One three double o six triple five o six. Yeah. Closing down south. No, it was the reading writing hotline. All right. One more look, guys. Eh? One more look. <laughs> it's just. It was three sixty. It's just. Wait, I'm getting it. Next level. Oh. Look oh, at the moon. The moon. Look at the moon. See, we don't want to put the camera down because we love it so much, guys. <laughs> oh, we did it. Did it, Dad. We did it. <laughs> I know you're there smiling behind, behind the screen. <laughs>